Diablo 4 Season 5 is less than 24 hours away. And in this video, I'm going to reveal my Season 5 starter. Now, if you've watched my content, you should already know that really, I'm not debating what class to play. My favorite class in Diablo 4 is Sorcerer. So that's not really up for grabs. Really, when a season is upon us, really what I'm debating and contemplating is what built of the sorcerer should I play? So in this video, I'm gonna reveal my thought process and how I came to my decision. And I'm gonna reveal the build from the sorcerer class that I'm gonna be playing and starting with in season five. Now, if you're looking for a video that goes into a deep dive into all the classes and all the builds that this video is not for you. Uh, however, you're more than welcome to continue to watch the video. Nothing would give me more joy. Come on in. I will share what my season five starter is going to be. We're also gonna going to take a quick look at what the experts are saying top classes the s tier builds in a uh, season five from what they know so far now take that with a grain of salt i have to say in the five seasons that diablo 4 has been out the beginning ranks don't necessarily always end up being what the end of the season rank ends up being and to their defense there's a lot of things that need to be fleshed out. Not everybody's aware of the impact. A lot of the core skills have received buffs across all classes. So the impact of that is yet not known. So to their defense, they're just going on the information that they have. But we're going to go over that very quickly. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to reveal which build from the Sorcerer Bucket I will be playing and starting season five with. Now, before we get into that, a lot of you continue to watch my content, but yet do not subscribe. If you can find it in your heart to hit the subscribe button, I would really appreciate your support. All right, let's get to it. There are a lot of different tier lists and I like to use Max Roll. Uh, I've used a lot of their build guides. For those of you that watch my content, you already know that, but, but I wanted to focus on the end game Pit Rush, and the F Infernal Hordes new mechanic. That's the new mechanic coming in Season 5. So I wanted to kind of take a look at what Max Roll is saying are going to be the S-tier builds for that content. And without further ado, S-tier, they have the usual suspects, Rogue and Barb are there. And they do have, surprise, surprise, Sorcerer has made the list. And actually, Landslide Druid has also slid in there. Now, surprise with the Barb is Flay is the one. And Bash are the two uh, builds that look like are going to be S tier for the Barbarian. And the Barbarian, it's going to be very interesting to see this shift from the usual suspects from the barb play style now having to go to flay and bash well bash i personally played bash and i and i really liked it um so it's going to be interesting to see how the barb players transition into season five rogue rogue is always up in s tier and again barrage rapid fire penetrating shot the usual suspects from the rogue tree uh so that's going to be uh People are already familiar with these builds, so it's going to be interesting to see how, after we have a couple of weeks, a month into season five, how this, uh, how this tree, uh, sorry, how this ranking system gets adjusted. However, when it comes to the sorcerer, there are fireball, lightning spear, firebolt, and chain lightning. Now, personally. After all the research I've done, and the Sorcerer has received a ton of buffs vis-a-vis -vis their core stats, vis-a-vis -a, -vis a lot of new uniques that are coming and been realigned and readjusted for Season 5, and also some of the Mystics that have uh, been changed, and we'll get into that a little bit later. These are the S tiers, and as far as uh, the lower tier, the A tier, is Frozen Orb, Blizzard, and what else do they have here? Just uh, Frozen Orb and Blizzard are A tier. And then uh, as far as Sork, Arclash, Meteor, Ice Shards, 
firewall. I think that is B tier. And then C tier, they have nothing and D tier is nothing. So basically, Sorcerer has basically been classified a couple in S tier, A tier, A tier and B tier. Uh, I personally think the Firebolt is going to top the list. I personally do not like that play style. So I will not be playing the Firebolt. But Firebolt, in my eyes, is going to be the top build for the Sorcerer. Blizzard, Frozen Orb, and Chain Lightning, I think, are just going to be a cut below. And it's going to be interesting, though. Again, this is this is my guesstimate on everything that I've researched, everything that I've read, taking into account all the changes that are coming to Season 5 vis-a-vis all the enhancements and realignment of all the uniques, the mystics, and the buffs that the sorcerers has received specifically. So to me, Firebolt number one, so S tier. In S tier, but just a little below is Blizzard, Frozen Orb, and Chain Lightning. Now, Fireball and Meteor require uh, special mention the Fireball and Meteor build looks very interesting. There's a lot of buffs that that build got. And I'm very curious. I have to say, I was teetering on going on one of those builds as well. However, I have played Frozen Orb in the past. It's a play style that I love. And so I'm curious to give it a try. I think it's going to be an S tier Sorcerer build when it comes to to the end game and pit push. All right, so that's basically kind of like the lay of the land going into season five. So I spent a lot of time, uh, I, I literally spent the last week since the patch notes came out uh, for season five. I gave them a thorough review actually twice over and I looked at some of the other previous builds that I played for sorcerer and with all that information armed with all that information the following is the decision i made and this is the build that i'm going to be playing and starting with for season five surprise surprise frozen orb i i, I can't stay away from it but i do have to say so for me, Frozen Orb is up here. As I said in my previous segment, Frozen Orb to me is going to be up uh, in S tier. I don't think it's going to be strong, as strong as Firebolt, uh, but Blizzard, Frozen Orb, and Chain Lightning, I think are all cut from the same cloth. I think they're going to all perform well. I personally like the play style of Frozen Orb, and I'm going to explain to you why. Uh, the, the main reason, outside and on top of all the buff that the Sorcerer got and is going to get in Season 5, like the, the buff to the core damage uh, skills uh, and and the the changing of all the unique those obviously came into play but to me the biggest impact and the reason why I'm going to play frozen orb is the insane buff that fractured winter glass is going to get for season five. All right, so let's take a look at what the previous stats were on the Fractured Winter Glass and what they are going to be in Season 5. You can see here that basically the resistance is going to be the same. The cooldown reduction, the Conjuration, Frozen Orb, the Lucky Hit. Look at the difference from the previous to the updated version. So 61% non-physical damage plus 13 chance of frozen orb projectiles to catch, cast twice. The conjuration cooldown are reduced by 0.1 second when a frozen orb explodes plus four to conjuration mastery. Casting frozen orb has a 47% chance to spawn a random conjuration when it explodes and lucky hit, your conjurations have up to 66 
chance to launch a frozen orbit nearby enemies. Now, this is what this specific example is showing. However, you have a higher range than what is showing here. For example, the casting frozen orb has a X percentage chance to spawn a random conjuration, conjuration when it explodes. The range is actually 35 to 65%. And then your lucky hit is actually 50 to 90% chance to launch a frozen orb at nearby enemies. So 15% chance on the casting frozen orb, it's gone up 15. So the ceiling was 50, it's now 65. And the lucky hit ceiling was 70 and in season five is going to be a 90% ceiling. Big, big, big buffs. And the conjuration mastery was capped at one or two and now is going to be three to four, another buff. And I can go on and on and on and on here. This buff to the fractured winter glass, it was already OP is going to be even crazier. And when you couple that with the other buffs to the sorcerer, this is why I wanted to give frozen orb a try. I really think this is going to be an S tier build for season five. All right, everybody, that is basically what I wanted to do. I wanted to just do a video reveal what I'm going to be playing for season five let me know your thoughts am i off did i miss something and i'd like to hear more about my comments on the sorcerer class uh because that's what i like to play that's what I i'm gonna play and i'd like to hear your take do you think firebolt is going to be the top sorcerer build uh do you disagree with that what are your thoughts on blizzard chain lightning and I want to hear from the people that got an argument for Fireball and Meteor. Try to convince me maybe to change my mind. Because I have to say, I hummed and hawed big time between Frozen Orb, Fireball, and Meteor. I, 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 full transparency, I was really struggling. What, but what put me over the edge was just the insane buff to the fractured winter glass i'd love to hear from people that also main sorcerer i'd love to hear your thoughts let me know what your comments are in what i said today anyway that is it guys that's my season five starter let me know what your season five starter what are you looking forward to in season five the most get in there let me hear your thoughts all right everybody thank you for watching we'll see you in sanctuary the opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.